All right, so the code I'm getting is SPN3464 FMI0, and the code is 1288. It's uh, ITVH OCC self test failed. Um, so that is for the throttle valve actuator that is in here. Um, so that throttle valve actuator is on the intake. It is right. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to see from here, but it is right there where you got the rubber intake hose comes into the throttle valve actuator. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this uh, intake air filter off. And I'm gonna get that hose off the front of that, and I'm gonna see if that moves freely. Uh, from what I found, it looks like those have been problematic, and I guess they could kind of seize in place. Um, so I'm gonna see if that's season up. And uh, maybe we'll do some power and ground tests on it and verify that it's uh, functioning properly. But I mean, if it's seized up, I really don't have to do anything other than that. But it's supposed to move freely, so you should be able to close it, and then it should spring load. It's spring loaded, so it should open it on its own by uh, the spring loading. So I'm going to uh, get the hoses and stuff off, and we'll see what we got. So, here's our IVT solenoid, not solenoid, but IVT actuator. So, we gotta get this uh, clamp off. That's the actuator right here. So there's the actuator, there's the control, there's the throttle valve, and there's a sensor, and it's all part of the same same uh, thing there. So we got to get this off and make sure it's not all seized up. And then we might have to do some, I say, wiring checks there to make sure that uh, our power and our ground and stuff is still working right. Or at least make sure we don't have any shorts or anything in it. So.
happens. Got like a permanent clamp on that. Um. That's pretty definitive. Um. So, this is from what I gather supposed to move freely at least there'd be some resistance and then it'll spring load up so you see how it's, it's spring loading up but it's not going down so we're we're stuck right there so not getting any any real movement out of it. It's moving a little bit, but it's not going. Oh, there it goes. So. I'm pretty sure we're going to need a new one of them. Yeah, so. I don't necessarily think. I need to go much farther with this. Um, let's see if it moves at all. Uh, I'm going to throw a code for a intake air temp sensor. But let's see if that goes. So you hear that humming. That's that trying to move. You hear it clicking. You see it's moving a little bit. Oh, a little bit. A little bit. All right, so I just went to do a key on engine off test. And that thing tried to close, started humming. And now we got some smoke coming out of there. I'm not exactly sure where it's coming from. It might have been trapped in the exhaust and maybe the EGR let it through. I'm not exactly sure. I don't think so. But, let's see, hit stop, we have IVT position, 6.4%, um, inlet throttle control, 5%, inlet throttle control offset, so let's hit it once more, try to see where the inlet throttle control goes in the position. So that went 50, we only went to 19.2520. So I'm gonna stop that because that thing ain't working. So and I'm gonna guess by the smoke pouring out of there. We've got a pretty good issue with it. So let's see if I can see inside. Or we can see inside. Or it might be coming from. I 
mean, there might be, a, I think, I th there's probably a grid heater in there too. That might be the grid heater. I don't know if that's actually clicking, kicking on. Well, anyway, as we could see, it was commanding at the 50%, and it was only going to uh, 20%. All right. And that throttle control offset, so that would probably be. Well, it wasn't working. Maintain the offset's 13. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna stop with that. Uh, inlet air heater control. So that's that smoke is probably the air heater. Let's see if that kicks on. Yeah, that kicked on. So that smoke is more than likely just soot and crap that got stuck to the uh, grid heater that could suck through because these engines are so clean burning. They just regurgitate their own crap. So that smoke is probably, like I say, just the grid heater burning the crap off that's on it. Um, but as we can see, ITV intake valve or intake valve actuator whatever position so they weren't matching up so I'm going to replace that and uh, probably redo the test and see see if it changes I assume it will but anyway so yeah inlet throttle control and then uh, ITV position all right, I get one of them. All right, so I've got the uh, intake throttle valve kit. There's your part number for it. So in the kit, you got uh, O-ring. You got some bolts, and you have the throttle valve. Here's the throttle valve. So, as you can see, this one does go all the way down and up by hand, and our other one was jammed about halfway. So, that throttle valve was seized up, and here's a new one. So, we're gonna go ahead and put this in, and uh, hopefully, that's a fix for that. The o ring in there, just kind of press it in.
Yeah. So, I hook it back up. Run that test again. See if you function. All right. So the smoke right there. I turned the key on and the grid heater lit up. So it's smoking there. So we're gonna hit the start. IVT position: thirty-five percent, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty-two, forty-five, fifty. So we command fifty, and we got fifty. Test complete. So that was something a little bit different. Last time I tried to run the test, it uh, it didn't stop. But I think that's because the IVT wasn't actually doing what it was supposed to do. So over there. So I think with the test last time it was hanging up and it wasn't continue completing it because the throttle valve wasn't going to where it was supposed to go to. So um anyway. That's annoying. So um it's functioning now so that's uh that was a problem that i was having with that throttle valve actuator not uh or failing its test so i think that's the test it does and uh on its own and uh i think we're good to go now so that's one problem solved um now i just have to deal with uh Uh, building oil pressure while cranking so anyway that's about that so I hope that can help somebody and I thank you for watching